welcome back to my channel my name is crop queen and today <laughs> today it's finally time to make another project and this time i'm gonna make a project with my own papers yes you hear this good correctly i made well we made my daughter and i we both worked on this paper pack and yeah so let me call it scrap queen designs and we made sherlock holmes uh, team and um yeah i hope you liked it and um well liked it let me first show you the papers so we have um 40 sheets there is 39 sheets in here but the cover i also used a bit so actually there are 40 sheets inside every print has two pieces so you can play with two of these gorgeous Sherlock Holmes team pages and it's kind of thick paper and definitely that is a lesson for me for next time that I will not choose that thick paper but if you see the project that I made with then it's not that bad it's definitely not that bad I'm gonna let you see a little quick on how the papers are looking like and then when I'm ready I will show you what I made with love this one it's so vintage so so nice that light, that little lamp, oh, it almost shines. See, it's almost shining. <laughs> oh my God, Diane, you are crazy. Don't talk that crazy. If you can see, there is also a nice shiny thing on those papers. That's also a thing that I would change the next time. Next time I will ask if I will use uh, matte papers. It's not that bad, but I think the next time it's better love this one by the way i love the beige the beige uh gray background i think this is the wallpaper from sherlock holmes but i definitely will ask the next time if they have matte paper perhaps that's better because yeah i don't i really yeah i don't know do you like it let, let me let, let me let me t tell me tell me do you like shiny papers or do you like the matte papers this one is is my my daughter's project wow it's so cool but I made it a little crunchier so yeah we definitely work together can you imagine can you imagine that we bonded our creativity and we both worked on this project she does so amazing work at school and it's her last year and i don't know what she's gonna do after this school but i definitely hope that she will continuing doing her design skills because she definitely is so so amazing good at the computer this is also a favorite one of mine i love this one i also love this in my clothes and yeah i love this one it's so cool and i could have made it a little smaller but now it's a little manly do you think so what do you say is this papers ready to go for a man because you ask me if i would like to do a project for a man and yes sherlock holmes is manly so i hope i listen to you guys so yes no flowers no girly things in it oh there is a flower in here <laughs> Shh, don't tell anybody <laughs> don't tell anybody guys i love these ones and of course there is another stripe oh my gosh i love these to cut for little strips love it love it love it love it. that can't miss in any project in any paper pack that's just my opinion i love it i love to use stripes and dots that's just my thing and i always think that it, it is amazing on busy papers love this one too i love the light blue oh my goodness guys it's time it's finally time to show you this oh my gosh oh i have waited so so long to finally share this with you guys so cool it's my baby it's our babies it's ours me and my daughter all right we created a paper pack oh my goodness okay stop that because i am getting a little oh, <laughs> emotional and i don't want that 
that will ruin my makeup but oh my goodness and yes I saw this so many times lately the last few weeks I worked a lot on a new project but oh my gosh my daughter created so nice I love these ones these little tiles you can use them for any occasion and uh, oh what do you think about these two? Oh my gosh love it the adventures of and these tickets and the tags and the round ones it's just perfect oh my gosh and then we have these ones this I created I was also a little creatively on the computer complete day but <laughs> to finish these but so you can see that in the we combined our vision on this and um, I like the vintage touch, touch and she likes it a bit more uh, solid and plain and I think the mix is perfect absolutely I love it I love these tags simple but with a stitch wound around it, it it's so easy to use so cool and that's I think exactly what a man looks for if if you want to make something for a man oh my gosh I love these postcards super 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 vintage love it all right guys so what do you think do you like these papers i hope you do because i am going to show you right now what i made with these so what can you make with all these papers look at this what can you make with that well i'm going to show you stay tuned by the way, these papers are available in my Etsy shop. There was also a digital pack for this one. So check it out. They are uh, both available in my Etsy shop. But let me show you what I made with this. Alrighty, let's let me show you what I made um, with my own collection. Okay, so you will see now the top of um, what I made. Um, yeah oh my gosh i'm so 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 yeah i don't know what to say um let me show you the front because i made a box oh my goodness <laughs> i made a box out of that and yeah it's a pretty big one um and so much to 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 show you here so so this is the front and i'm gonna show you in just a sec how big this is i believe it's eight by six something like that um and then I'm just gonna move it around. Then this is the side with a nice handle. And then the back. And then of course we have another one right here. So how does this all work? Now let me first open the top. All right, so the top opens up like this. And then you will see the lid, which you still can make a little pocket now I remembered I forgot that to do um, on top in in the first yeah you I made just um, the last leftover pieces but you can add so much more in here of course um, I made some cards some leftover booklets where you can add pictures in here and you can add so much in here as you like um, this is one that has a little pocket this was just made for the leftover pieces that I had, so that I already put in here. So, so the top is a nice big um, pocket, and I also made a little edge right here, as you can see, so it's a little higher, so the lid fits perfectly over it. Alright, so that is the first piece, and then we have another one opens up like this and then this complete thing opens up totally forgot to put something in here because this one has a little pocket right here does this fit yep does that fit all right so we have a nice pocket right here these little strings hold it back can i show you that from the side that it does not go all the way down that saves a little of the, your uh, hinges. Then I made another little booklet right here. And I made a nice little journal. So you open this up. And this is just recycled paper. Which I love. And this little book is made with just cardstock. With no chipboard at all. 
but it's nice sturdy love it all right so you just can put this back on just like that put this over and then you have a little booklet all right so for the next one let me close this up for the next one we have two little drawers and inside i made just a little tag but it's empty just for you to put something in there of course you can store there all your little pieces in here all your manly things here is also a nice tag inside but it fits perfectly and then at the bottom you will see another drawer and but it isn't <laughs> it isn't but it looks like a dwarf but it isn't it's a little album and that little album i'm going to show you so yep at the bottom there is a little album and inside of course you can add loads of things not too much because it's already thick but i add many 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 tags already in and if you are more a person that want to put photos in here then just leave all the tags out that i put in and then it will do perfectly but for now let me show you oh my gosh i'm so proud of this page but don't forget the first page the first page i keep it clean because this page is pretty much um very close to this one right here i just made a little tuck spot right here and then we go to this page oh my god i'm super excited okay so what you see here is um a little pocket with that watch that i just told you earlier you see that so cute you can take this out this little tag right here and then this pulls out a nice big tag where you can add a nice big picture on the front and the back if you like and then this opens up like that and then you can add four nice little pictures in here it, it's quite simple and it's quite um, plain but I wanted to make an as simple possible album but yeah I just could not resist making a nice entry of the first page so and then this holds it all a little together what do you think i like it i like it so much <laughs> all right i can't tell you that i like it so much i do i do i can't tell you as many i can i can tell you as many times that i like i just like it i'm very proud of it yay good job <laughs> all right <laughs> go to the next page the next page i also am very proud of because um yeah you will see it's just a simple pocket but this pocket looks like a suitcase oh my yep it does it's so simple actually but it's so so cute and i did not put the ribbons um completely down so you still can add a little picture underneath here so that's so cool and then the postcard and a leftover um, which you still can use on your pictures or something like that then we have this little page right here that's also having a pocket with a note in and here is a little pocket where you also can little put some little notes in but then this flips up and here is a nice little spot for making a photo and then we have another um, tag inside here which you still can add your photos in and then this closes it all down then this flips to the left nice places for photos and here you also can add photos this is of course um, loose it is it is loose let me grab something it is loose i know it's loose i know it is hello see yeah it's loose <laughs> you would believe me yes you would believe me all right and then you flip this to the left and then we come to a next big pocket where you still can add loads of things in here little tags big photos whatever you like to do oh and then i believe this one 
Wait just a second, I'm gonna use this one. Um, this page, I did not glue completely down, so you can use this. So this one is loose. This one is loose, as you can see. This one is also loose. And then this little guy here at the bottom is a nice tuck spot. So if you like, you also can put this all the way and then right here at the bottom, shove this in here. That's also possible if you like to add a little note or something. But if you like this as it is, then it's perfectly fine. All right, then, then we have a big tag in here. And this is actually just because I can pull this tag easily in and out. So yeah, um, another collage on the back for the leftover pieces, but I thought it would be easier to take this out because I had to make this all the way in because the album otherwise do not fit in your uh, box. So that is why I created this little guy and it has to be flat, but it's easier to pull things out. So that is my excuse. <laughs> All right, then we have, I, I don't I don't understand why I always talk in, 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 in more than one person because I made this, <laughs> not anybody else. Um, so um, yeah, we made, we made a belly band. Again, I do it again. Why? We don't. We do not make this. I made this. Oh my gosh, I'm getting crazy here right now. <laughs> I made a belly band. <laughs> and to Nywald, it's one little tag right here and a little notebook. Um, where you still can add little pictures on here, or you can write something down. Then this can be placed right back. Then we go to the left, let me put this in here. Um, this page is actually pretty simple because I only um, created this piece of paper and then these two pieces of paper, but I added, um, I kept a spot free so I can add it a few tags behind it. And if you only glue three sides of the papers, they also have a little tuck spot. So that is what I did with this page. Simple, but functional. <laughs> All right guys, let's go to the next one. I love these closures. And because of the round shapes, I could not resist do that in this album too. Now this flips up and then this flips down. So we have a nice extra area for making, leaving a photo in there. And then just a pocket. Simple pocket with some decorations. And of course, like I said in the beginning, if you want to add your pictures in here, just leave these out. Don't make any tags. Then your album will definitely be not that thick as it is right now. Because now it fits perfectly. But I, the reason why I like to make uh, tags in here is because then I know how thick an album will be if you leave the tags out and put the photos in there. So that is actually the reason why I make tags. So I know how thick an album can get. So if I replace all my photos instead of the tags and leave the tags all out, then I still am on the same thickness and it still will fitting in the box. All right, next page. All right, so let's go to the next page. Again, some nice collage, leftover collage, but you still can add a nice picture in here. Same thing on this side right here. You can add a nice picture on top. You can still write something down on these little tags, if you like, but it's functional. Love it. And then we go on the left side. Here I created yeah, something like a belly band. I don't know exactly the correct word for this, but I, I love it. This is um, where I cut out the front page. So it looks like um, patchwork, but I didn't because it was just 
the front of the cover but and then um, a nice big tag where you can add a nice photo on or on the back and then this all places down back like that then you see something hanging right here that means that there is another big tag in here with a nice little charm hanging on here so this goes back in then we have this as a closure then this flips up and down the bottom I made just a little tuck spot so you still can add a little picture on the bottom here you can tuck it in and then a nice pocket for your photos or photos on here write something down on the back whatever you like to do with this but I like it and I definitely like this closure it's so so cool there we go let's go to this page here we have two little tags with these nice charms that I have found this clock the London Tower and this uh, revolver or pistol or whatever you're gonna like it to call it and this flips up and this is a nice reveal of two photo places and that keeps it all together with these little tags then on this side I just made a simple sideway pocket with these tiles keeps it simple manly and a nice little booklet card where you still can write something in it put some photos in so that's useful you still can add loads of things in here uh, letters that you want to keep folders documents whatever that you like to keep all right then this flips to the left here we have a nice photo collage this is still loose so you still can add something in the back for it and then we come already to the last page and this has a swing tab which I so much love with this one it's a little uh, pen I call this pen I call this one I know the Dutch word full pen but <laughs> <laughs> but anyway I love, the, I love to use it as a swing tab and then this flips to the left and to the right and then you can still add your pictures on here and here or you can write something down here whatever you like but I, it's simple but I love it so cool and then for the last one this, this is by the way that, that little charm that I was talking about see that that was on these papers actually yep it was and so that's a little pocket down here all right and then it's the end guys so what do you say still it's it's nice and thick but as i told you if you will add uh leave your um your tags out and put every um every uh, picture that you want to add in there then it will still fit but on the outside it looks like it was but it isn't so it's a little surprise so um, and that's also a thing with the secret compartment right here people will not think well you only can see it with the closure that there is another compartment in here so this one it definitely looks like it's 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 something that to fill in but this it does not look that way does it at least that was the meaning of to make it with a secret compartment and two little drawers and a secret spot for your album in it. So on the outside it looks like a drawer, but it isn't. So what do you think? Oh my gosh. It's, it's going to be a long video, I know, but yeah, there was so much to tell and so much to show. Um, I used these bronze corners and yeah i love it it's so cool and it's so special to me because i used my own papers my own designed papers me and my daughter and yeah it's so cool i made by the way um another uh it was my tryout and i just like to show you real quick because i made another one so if you use your papers in another um in another order then it have a complete different look do you think see it's totally different but yeah it's still the same of course um but it's totally different so yeah which one do you like i don't know but i made this already and um this has also the inside 
covered up with all the papers and also this one this one by the way I totally forgot to use that ribbon but um, this one I did made um, design paper on it but afterwards it looks better without and the album I only uh, came up to this so it's not ready yet but I don't know if I'm gonna finish it up but perhaps some one of you like to finish it up so who knows just tell me do you like to finish it up then you can you can do that for me then you can have this one all right so but perhaps also I gonna leave it right here next to each other all right so what do you think do you like this do you like this video there is a tutorial of it of course there is um so yeah i'm happy if you like to follow my tutorials i hope you like this project i hope you like all my brabbling doing the tutorials um yeah i always say it's better to watch them first and then start with it but i can't I do can imagine that people just want to follow along, but <laughs> sometimes I make mistakes, but sometimes it works correctly. Do I need to say this? No, I don't think so. My videos are follow along. They are free to watch and I hope you like it and you definitely can make this your own and follow all the instructions and then it will definitely be fine and okay. So thank you so much for watching. I will see you next time. I have no idea if there will be another paper pack coming in the future. I have no clue. My daughter has now almost her exam, so it's the last few months of her school. But who knows? But talk to me. Do you like this? Do you have any suggestions? Um, I hope you do. And actually, I don't hope that you have them. <laughs> anyway, give me a big thumbs up if you like this. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye.